afternoon. Good afternoon, family. Good afternoon, Stephen, Philip, Mary, Laura. <laughs> oh, who we got? Ida. <laughs> Good afternoon. Interesting title. Israel Rabbi, Rabbi reveals date of Messiah arriving according to Kabbalah. Well, I've got to read this article. I haven't fully absorbed it yet. Thank you to Brother Morley who sent this to me first as a DM. I think it's on breaking news in Discord. It will be by now, I would think, because it's well worth a look at, because this matters. Remember, Israel is God's time clock. That's for sure. And everything will focus on that. All our times will focus on Israel. You know, we're looking at dates and things like that. Israel is two hours ahead of me in Britain. You know, and I'd expect things to happen if there was a date and a time on it that is to happen at Israel time. Um... Okay, I'm not saying any more on, more on that. But I want to dive into this article first, to be honest with you, because it is interesting, to say the least. And it matters because, you know, we're looking for our Messiah. They're looking for someone who isn't our Messiah. We're looking for Jesus, the Messiah, who came for them first time round. Now, before I start, this channel is about the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the advancement of the kingdom of Father God, whereby if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved. Keeping these things in your heart, picking up your cross and following him all the time. The more you follow him, the less you'll care about this world. That's pretty good. Don't turn back from confession. I've seen that happen. And then met them a year later and they become Jehovah's Witnesses. Not possible. Only one can save and that's Jesus and we'll go into where we can find that later on but screen and camera oh where am I Israel rabbi reveals date of the Messiah arrival according to the Kabbalah I'll read the scripture but as stars rises at Yaakov a scepter comes forth of Israel it smashes the the brow of Moab the foundation of all children of Shet in Numbers twenty four seventeen, It doesn't really tie to me because we're not looking for the same Messiah. Okay, so it doesn't matter. In a recent interview, renowned Israel Rabbi Daniel Assaw warned of a globalist takeover happening as we speak. Agreed. If Hitler is the Third Reich, then the New World Order is the Fourth Reich. Now that is interesting. I just want to stop there. That is interesting because... I was watching them dig up uh, documentaries on digging up. I don't miss anything. Digging up the Nazi gold. To interest in those four million missing. I wonder where that went. <laughs> I don't know. Um, British and US troops, <laughs> by the way. But one Nazi who, who was in charge of the whole conquest turned around and said on that telly, I wish I'd had the problem, uh, the program, but it was on telly. And... Um, he said, we'll do it, but we'll not do it that way again. Reading that, that is interesting, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> World order is the Fourth Reich. Mm. It is Amalek's last meeting with, with us before the Messiah arrival, he said. Okay. Okay. Based on Kabbalah's teaching written in Italian Jewish rabbi and Dr. Rabbi Mosh David Valai, Valai, who was subject to the confidant of the prominent Jewish Kabbalist Rabbi Mosh Cham Luzato, I'll not pronounce that, Rabbi Asur reveals the dates that the Messiah will reveal himself. Reveal himself. The Messiah is not coming back yet. He's coming back at the end of the tribulation. The rapture saints are meeting him in the air. Where the eagles saw. Big difference. So we're on different rabbis. Uh, we're on different messiahs, which I think we all know, don't we? Do we all know? Warning of the one world government ruling the world. The rabbi cautions that in the Hebrew calendar year, Tafshin Pei Aleph, September 2020, September 2021, um, from Tevet 
January and February until Alul, August, September. Those will be the nine months where the new world order rules. That's false. That means that means our Messiah, the real Messiah, their Messiah. We might be out of here. Just a thought. That's close. That's close. Nine months. That's interesting. The Revelation 12 sign. I've got to come back to this article. Ida, this one for you. Get your notes out. Nine months. Revelation 12 sign. Hmm. Just a thought. <laughs> Need the pens going now. The rabbi then sources the Talmud revealing that in the end of the Jubilee year, the Messiah will re-emerge again at Yom, Yom Kippur 2022. Okay. Okay. Which falls on October 4th and 5th. So we need to... I've got this article. This article is in full on Patreon, by the way. <clears throat> on Yom Kippur, Moses brought the Torah down from Sinai in the desert. We received the Torah in the desert... We will receive the Messiah, but this time the desert will not be what you think it is. It'll be something completely different. The miracles that took place in the desert will reoccur, he notes. The divine presence will leave a diaspora and will come here to protect us. Really? The rabbi said. He did the first time from eternal damnation. There is reason that there is so much chaos in the world and that is because God has abandoned all of the beauty and glory. How wrong that is of the nations Israel, not the nation, just the people that don't accept his son. Will be a place where all the beauty and glory is found. Really. After that film I put on Twitch the other night, then... It's no surprise anymore that we can hear rabbis talk this way. Because not only is he revealing his potential date of their potential Messiah, who, interesting who that could be, couldn't it? You know, it's their attitude to the real Messiah. Jesus came for them. He was a Jew. He came for them. And they rejected, despised and crucified him. But he rose again on the third day, correct? He rose again on the third day. Now, the one that is really interesting today is the Gog, Ezekiel 38, um, 39, but 38 to um, looking at good news again. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Experts claim... Cold War between US and China began last week. Now, this is dated March 22nd, okay? So it began last week. Have I got the date right? Yeah, 2021. And could go hot at any moment. Cold War going hot. And then it's, it's a prophecy that, O oh, mortal, turn your face towards Gog in the land of Magog, the chief prince, the Mashiach, of Tuba and Tubal, prophesy against him, Ezekiel 38, to the Israel Bible. Well, let's read the article. Last Thursday, Chinese officials met with the, their American counterparts in Anchorage, Alaska, for two days, and by all accounts, the meeting was not friendly. The Biden administration called their first encounter with China tough and direct, tough and direct, but one expert said it was far worse than that, claiming that from the Chinese perspective, it was the first shot fired in the Cold War. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> Cold War. That means... Oh, what does it mean these days? Cyber attacks, the whole nine yards. The meeting started out with Secretary of State Attorney Blink Blinken making general remarks after what seemed to be a fairly generic and mild speech. China's top diplomat, Yang Chi lashed Lashed, I think, out, lashed out, sorry, Jian Yashi lashed out in remarks that were supposed to last two minutes. Yang spoke for 16 criticizing, 
spoke for 16, criticising the United States' struggling democracy, poor treatment of minorities, and criticising its foreign trade policy. Wow, that's the pot calling the kettle black. The United States uses its military to force a financial hem hegemony to carry out long-arm jurisdiction and suppress other countries. Well, said Young. We, but which is what they're planning to do to America. So, oh dear. We believe that it is important for the United States to change its own image, image and to stop advancing its own democracy in the rest of the world. So it is, it is amazingly tense everywhere now. We know this. If we, we don't know anything else, we know that Israel became a nation in a day in 1948. That was a major, uh, a major sign that we can cling to in being the last generation, as well as the Revelation 12 sign. So not many more prophecies to come, to be honest with you. Um, probably 18. That's it. We're close to going home. We're close to going home, brothers and sisters. It's time to pull together. You noticed I put out an encouraging video before as videos. Those of you on YouTube, sometimes the videos are done on Twitch and then posted over to YouTube. So do join us on Twitch, The Disciple Pete, it's called, and there is a link in the description. But they, they my aim now at the moment is to get as many gospel messages out in the short period of time we are here and I do believe it's a short period of time okay we're seeing it China America Russia UK now involved heavily involved um, sides taken the um, Abraham Accord the peace plan is is all but done you know, which is interesting. I'll be doing some more PowerPoints on prophecy. Um, I still haven't got you the link of that book, um, either, because it's it's interesting to say the least. It's making life easy to look at it. The main reason we're here is to promote the gospel here and now in these end times, but also bring people in and disciple them. We're working for the Lord, being about the Lord's business. That is done on Discord, brothers and sisters. I just know there's going to be a higher in here. So I'm going to show it on the screen. Please wave to me, guys, with your gifts. <laughs> this is the server Discord. There's a link in the description saying the Disciple Server. And there's a, a, a URL that says Discord. Don't worry about that. Click on that. And it should take ask you to download your own Discord. And, and I'm just looking at the comments. This is general chat. And then... Once you've downloaded, if it hasn't taken you there, go back, click the link again, and it will bring you into here. Ida's saying hello. Ida's in the chat. <laughs> this is what happens. It's just the best place of fellowship, 24-7 global fellowship, with 3,800 and last look, 22 people in there, 23 people in there, and people joining every day. We've got to stay together. Lucy <laughs> and Tatonka. Taton, Taton, Ka, we fly. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. There is everything in there. There is um, 10 ministries in there. You can be baptized. There's healing and deliverance. There is divine healing, uh, Bible study. I mustn't forget anyone. Um, I'm on the wrong list. Bible study, three Bible studies. Um Morley will help you with, as, as a watcher, he will help you with scripture, Brother Morley. Um, Ida's free Bible room will find you a Bible online or a, a, a hardback. Ida's a Berean room where End Times is going in. That's what we're looking at. Um, author Michael Middleton, his books are in there. He's an author and there's a room for him and all the proceeds go to YWAM. Brother Frank will help you with holistic medicine. Um there's a holistic medicine room in there if you're struggling and you want to go holistically away from Big Pharma. And, of course, a communion. There's not much more we can put in there, to be honest with you. I, I'm making it quick because I see the stats jump off when I start mentioning this. And, of course, of course, everything that's become, become a trademark waving to me when we get it up online. 
but it is of just being together Lamslid. remember the virgins you know five only five of them went 50 percent of them all of them were looking but five of them didn't have enough oil in their lamps so we need to be looking as in revelation 3 3 that we might not know the day or the hour we are looking i don't think we'll find an hour i don't think we'll find the day we feel it's soon because we know we're in the last generation because everything has happened and now we see it on the ground all the signs getting ticked off like we're actually in there brothers and sisters be strong be together come in counsel us so we can counsel you walk with us so we can both and all of us walk with the lord that's what's important let's go and reach the lost do you know there is a number there is a number god will change the dates that's biblical i haven't got the scripture at the moment but he'll award things and do things differently we know there's a number of saints to come in that's in romans let's get them in our destiny to a certain extent might be in our hands let's work hard let's get them in clean them up send them out so they can bring more but let's win the lord's people back from the enemy brothers and sisters serious ones coming up i will keep you posted on everything that does do join us on discord or twitch or any of the social medias that you have instagram all in the description and i'll leave you with may god bless you keep you make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and always god bless